A legendary local custom car builder is being remembered for his love of cars and much more. 17's Karen Hua had a chance to visit the shop owned by Gordon Red Hardin and talked with family about his incredible legacy. Karen? Red Hardin will be remembered as a self-made man and story of success. His business bloomed in Bakersfield, and now it remains in the family. This town for us. Red Hardin is a rags to riches story, rich in experiences, adventures, and community. These are. He grew up in an Oklahoma orphanage, ran away to New York City at age 11, hitchhiked to Los Angeles by age 12, where he fell in love with Hollywood and cars. By 15, Red owned his own car shop in Burbank. When he relocated to Bakersfield, Carriage Masters Collision Repair was born. His first shop on 19th Street. People would say he couldn't do it, and that was like, it's like it drove him to, to prove that he could do it. It was a family affair that eventually expanded to their current Rosedale Highway location. My mom's got a great business mind. Uh, my father, like I said, his fortitude is, is, is unreal, and uh, they, they just don't give up. And so pushed and pushed and pushed until it, it's grown. Red always had an entrepreneurial spirit, working on more than 100 celebrity and athletes' cars in his lifetime, including a custom parade vehicle for Buck Owens, which now sits behind the bar at the Crystal Palace. But as skilled as Red was with vehicles... He always kept family, number one, and cars were close behind, but they were always, always behind. Red's most notable pieces launched him into many halls of fame, including Dragula and the Munster Coach from the 1960s sitcom The Munsters. There was Kit from Knight Rider and this icon from the original Batman. Custom cars. Red was also well known for his philanthropy, once donating 11 cars to Boys Home charity auctions. Red passed away at age 70 after battling colon cancer for four years. He was surrounded by friends and family at home. Visitation will be tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. at Basham Funeral Care. And the funeral service will be Thursday at 11 a.m. at Canyon Hills Assembly of God. The public is welcome to attend both. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.